Welcome back to SK Hobbies AZ and happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. So today we're going to be unboxing my Father's Day present. As long as you guys saw my uh, my live that I did on what I purchased, you already know what it is. So why don't you stay tuned? All right, so everybody saw my live yesterday. It was uh, it was awesome. A uh, little story behind it I, I threw out on the live in case you guys didn't watch that. Um, been uh, selling off a couple of my old rigs and making room for some new projects. And we were going to be outfitting my uh, my youngest son with a new crawler and a basher. And so uh, we uh, we rehomed a couple of his uh, his rigs that he has and. Uh, we were going to purchase him a brand new rig and I'm going to have another video coming up here shortly of uh, my son's actual new rig, but we picked up a uh, Element RC Trail Finder, uh, pretty decked out already, um, very well taken care of. Um, I went completely through it, redid the diffs, redid, uh, um, I guess the axles, they're not really differentials, but redid the axles it does have ifs so we cleaned that up a little bit put some new electronics in it and uh it's all it's already got a bunch of uh a brass already put into it so uh you guys stay tuned to that video and we'll do it but anyways originally we purchased this gift for uh my my son's birthday coming up in uh, in two weeks here and in that process of purchasing it he decided he wanted this other uh rc that we were picking up so he, he's chose that one. Needless to say, my wife and my, my kids got together and decided that they were going to give this purchase that I, I did, uh, they were gonna give it to me for Father's Day. So I get a new rig for, uh, for the family. Uh, but anyways, let me go ahead and get you over to the other camera and I'll show you what we got. Look at this. We got an Axial Base Camp. So this thing is a, uh, this thing, I'm excited about it. I watched several other reviews on it, and uh, I'm excited to see what it can do. And we're gonna we're gonna kind of keep it stock. We're a bit, you know, originally, you know, we are gonna get into uh, putting some better tires and some rims on it, but I think we're gonna pretty much keep this bad boy in its stock form. So let's get her open. I haven't even uh, haven't even opened it. The tape is still on it. So let's. Uh, it doesn't open like the normal ones do. Um, it looks like we've got kind of tape on the side. But actually, let's look at the box first. So this is what we got coming in here, except for mine is the blue one. And then, of course, it comes with Three different colors you can choose from. You got the green, you got blue, and then you got uh, kind of like the, the gray. In the box here, it's ready to run. Comes with, a, you can see the roller portion right here with all the electronics in it. It's got a really nice bumper and aluminum uh, aluminum shocks. I'm anxious to, to see what these aluminum shocks are, uh, are gonna handle like, because uh, the SCX-102 that my wife has, uh, it's it's plastic housings. This is an all metal shock, so I'm excited about that. Um, does have the oh, wrong way. It does have a, a Spectrum ESC in it. It's got it's got the Spectrum receiver in it, which will link up to, uh, eventually to uh, my my DX5C. Um, it does have a Spectrum brushed motor, and it has these uh, cool. They're not bead locks. They're more uh, glued uh, tire setup, which eventually we're gonna. But um, enough about that. I'm ready to see what's inside of it. Are you ready to see what's inside of it? I am too. Enough of talking about all this silly stuff. I'm going to see if I can pull this and see what happens. Get this out of the way. Ooh, it's pretty looking. on camera on the count of three and then 
We'll show you guys. One. I can't hear you. Count. Count with me. Okay. One, two, three. Bam! Look at that. She is pretty. Let's see if we can get her out of the box here. So, standard controller. I have this on a couple of my other Losis. Uh, we have it on the Big Rock. Um, also, uh, we had it on the Arm of Granite, but we, uh, we, we rehomed the Arm of Granite. So, I got that. Let's see how this, the rest of this comes out. Oh, it just slides out. Get that out. Really nice packaging that they put in it. Look at these cool little foam things that they put up here. It's kind of cool. It helps so it doesn't get crushed or anything. Um, it looks like the only protective portions that they have is they put like this thick plastic stuff over the top. And that just comes off like that. And another thing that they got little plastic pieces over where you're, uh, and it's like a thin, it's not even a sticker. It's that same material that they have underneath the, uh, the clips. So looks like we've got another zip tie right here. And we got a couple here on the back. Like I said, I haven't even opened this up yet. I was waiting for you guys. I figured we all experience it together. And bam. So in here, looks like it gave you some batteries for the controller, some, uh, some little plastic O-rings, and a little uh, speed wrench for the tires. And then you got a, a book. So let's, before we do that, let's look at this book real quick. Let's see here. Ooh, we get free cool branded swag from Horizon Hobby. So I'm sure I gotta pay for something on that. So we'll figure it. We'll get it registered and we'll see what comes in the mail. But manual wise kind of looks just like the SCX uh, 10 book that I had for the, uh, the two, except for it talks a little bit about the electronics. Let's see if they got any, any, they got the drawings in here. Go to the back. Yes, they do. So they have the parts blown up drawings in the back. That's awesome. The SCX 10 3 axial base can. This is awesome. All right, so we got the blue. I mean, it looks like it's pretty good out of the, the, you know, some of the people were complaining that when they got theirs, there was uh, some leakage. I noticed on mine, I had it in the same spot. So I'm not sure that that's going to be a problem, but like any of my rigs that I have, I always take mine apart and look and see and make sure that the grease is okay. But that looks like it's coming right out of the, uh, uh, the front axle. So right out of here. And I do see a little bit of wetness right there so we'll check that out and we'll see what happens underneath the uh the shell here let's get those off i do like that they went with the side motion on the rear i wish they would have done it on the front but uh like they do on the uh the elements but we will see shell looks in pretty good shape it's the nice blue and pretty much looking at my camera versus what I'm seeing here, getting a little bit more of an accurate, some of them are like a deep blue on uh, online. So just be wary of that. All right. So it's got a 35T motor. It's got the Spectrum ESC. All right, so we got a uh, 40 amp Spectrum brushed ESC to go with that 35 turn motor. And, all right, so we got a uh, 15 kg servo. So we might upgrade that and get a little bit better one. The shocks seem pretty uh, pretty spring-backy. 
but we're going to check the fluid levels in those. And, you know, I'm anxious. I mean, I know it's only a single speed transmission. It's not the, st uh, the ones that we get on the newer style of... Uh, That's awesome. It's got the expandable battery tray right here, so you can put the shorty packs, or you can expand it out and put. Uh, looks like looks like it's adjustable, but you've also got the other battery tray right here for the longer batteries. Um, it looks like it already has built into the frame. If you look here, you can see right here and right here these these eyelets. Right, that's designed for. Uh, the hideaway mounts for for these. So if you had like the JL body and you wanted to put on here, you put that on there, you can put the clips right through there and everything's hidden. The, uh, the tires, they make a little noise. You can hear that sounds like a dog toy with the squeaker broken. Uh, tires seem pretty comparable to the ones that like the G8 compound that you would get maybe a little bit harder than the G8 compound that you would get on a, uh, the Hyrax. But we're going to see. We're going to see how, the, how, how this bad boy works. Um, I don't have the right battery to put in here. Um, so we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be changing that connector out so I can run uh, with my XT, uh, my XT60s. And we'll get that swapped out and uh, I'm going to get some of this electronics tidied up with it too. get everything routed nice and pretty. And then we're going to give it a test run. So uh, I know uh, I'm not going to really carry on too much longer. Um, I just wanted to do the unboxing with you guys. Uh, I will put a little bit of run footage at the end of this uh, with you guys seeing it run. Um, these links right here, they are thinner than what we would normally see but I don't think it's gonna to be too big of a deal. Um, if I end up bending them, I'll probably replace them and upgrade them, but that's why it's the base camp. The base camp is designed to, you know, you're gonna replace all this stuff anyways, why spend so much money in buying another ready to run? Um, it gives you the option to upgrade, and that's what we wanna do. We wanna upgrade it. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I just wanted to get this unboxing done so I can play with it and get you guys some footage out of this running on our course in the backyard. I'm Stitch, SK Hobbies AZ, and don't forget to like and subscribe, bash that bell, and we'll see you out there on the course.